Hello everybody and welcome back to the next Transformer Studio Series video. And in this video we will be reviewing Studio Series number 74, the Lex Class Bumblebee with Sam Witwicky. Okay, so um one thing I wanted to tell you is that um thank you for all the subscribers who have subscribed to my channel, all the likes, the nice comments, I really appreciate it. Now now please tell your friends about these videos and stuff so I could get more subscribers, please. And um thank you for for all the subscribers and everything. Okay, so now let's start with our review. First, we're gonna start by comparing. Then after that, we're gonna go over the body, the 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 mold, and then the box. And then after that, we'll transform him. Okay, so now um, I I purchased um, Studio Series number seventy four deluxe class Bumblebee with Sam at at, at my local Target. Um, he did not appear at the shelf. I just asked one of the store attendants if he could find him, if he could look in the back because they keep some of the toys and stuff in the back. Uh, and he found him, and I was all like, "Oh yes!" And you know, um, and but this figure is actually really, really incredibly accurate toward how he how he looks like in Revenge of the Fallen, and is actually how exact the mold of the the robot form is the exact um, form of of his previous studio series figure number number um 49 deluxe class bumblebee now number 74 and bumblebee are are the have the exact same body and everything the only difference is that the car and everything now if you remember my 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 video about bumblebee like the the my review about 49 um we just saw how I untransformed him, but we didn't see how I transformed him. Now, but, but both of these transformed the exact same way. So if you missed out on the first video of how to transform him, you can watch this video as well, and, and you'll see how to transform him at the end of this video. Okay. So, so um, Bumblebee, um, the difference is that if we look toward the back of his car form, um, the the lines they're like this part of the hood is thicker and this part of the hood is actually smooth like it doesn't have a lump but this one has a lump on the engine part like the hood of his car now the back the legs and everything are the same the wheels the head and everything although although what would have made this figure more more what's it called better is that if they included Bumblebee's regular face inside the box and and his regular um battle mask face um that um that would have made the figure a little bit more worth it but what made it even more worth it was was that he came with a was this sam witwicky accessory figure where he is running although this just this just looks like a regular person this does not look like sam witwicky if we look at his face it does not really look at, like shia labeouf which is the actor that played as Sam Witwicky in the Transformers film. It does not look like him at all. It just looks like a normal human running. Now, you can use this um, little guy for a stop motion. Or, if you want to use something else like a Lego. Like the little Lego figure I made that one time. Like that little Lego figure that I showed you. Um, we can, You can use it for Sam. And the Lego figure is actually like the same size as the Sam Witwicky little figure right here. But... Um, I I think it's pretty cool, although it doesn't really look like him. The the body, yes, but not the face. That that is just kind of a shame. Only a little bit. They could have added some eyes, some um, details and stuff. But anyway, still a good, great figure and everything. Okay. So now let's compare him with some deluxe classes, and then after that, Voyager and a leader class. So you can see Bumblebee is about the same size as his other Bumblebee figure, Studio Series number forty nine. Um, how about Studio Series number 47, Deluxe Class Off-Road Bumblebee? We can see that this Bumblebee is actually the, a little bit bigger, which is the same size as these. These two are the same size, and and they are bigger than this version of Bumblebee. Now, if we get Studio Series number 64, Cliff Jumper, um, they are a little bit bigger than Cliff Jumper. This Cliff Jumper is just like about four, four inch, four point two inches, and these are like four point five inches. Now if we get Soundwave from the Dark of the Moon movie, we can see that he is actually the same size as Bumblebee, the our number seventy-four, and that and that like like um, not like they're the same size. I know. 
And if we get uh, another transformer that's actually a little bit smaller, like like Clefoot, you can see that there is a a a what's it called? A a a little bit of a height difference, and uh, kind of not kind of yes, but we can see that there is a difference between the heights and everything of how big um, Studio Series number seventy four is. Okay. Okay, so now let's check out his size with some Voyager classes. Right now, although this next figure isn't a Voyager class, it is about the size of a Voyager class. Um, Studi Series number 44, Leader Class Optimus Prime. He is about the size of a Leader Class, a uh, Voyager class. Like I said in my previous video, that the only reason he's a Leader Class is because he came with the with his jet jet wing accessories and his weapon accessories and stuff like that. But we can see that that um, Optimus Prime is actually is actually a, a bit bigger than Bumblebee. We put them like this. We can see that Bumblebee's head barely makes it to where his tummy was, where his abs and his tummy was. So that's how big Bumblebee is to an average Voyager class. And if we if you have Studio Series number fifty four, um, Voyager class Megatron, he is actually um, way way more smaller than than how. Than um, how he is from Bumblebee to Optimus Prime, and if you do have Studio Series number number twenty one or six Starscream, um, twenty one and six are about the same height, um, but we can see that Starscream is way bigger than 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 Bumblebee right here. Um, he is just way huger, and. Like like Bumblebee just his head just makes it to where where the jet the little jet window is right here. That's where it where it makes it to. Where. Okay, so so you could do this two ways. You could use Studio Series number sixty seven, um, Rampage or I mean Studio Series number sixty seven um, Skipjack or thirty seven Rampage. Now right here I'm using um sixty seven Skipjack. Now you can create the whole scene where Bumblebee is fighting Rampage in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen with this little Sam figure. You can have, have Bumblebee pose like like that ready to fight um, um, Skipjack like how he uh, he did in the film. Although he fought Rampage and not Skipjack in the film. But since right now at the moment I do not have Rampage at the moment. Um, you can use Skipjack as well for a stop motion or anything. And then you could ha have Sam Wiki running like that, but but I think it's pretty cool. Um, but I recommend that you use Rampage instead of Skipjack so it could look, be more real. And 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 now let's check the box. It's so we can see that the box um, has the buzz or the um, things right here. We can see the large number seventy four, and his backdrop is the same backdrop we get from the number number thirty five Jetfire and number thirty one. Um, What's his name? Me Battle Damage Megatron. The side of the box has more classic Bumblebee um, pictures like this side. Um, the back of the box, I really do like that it shows his com his new Camaro form. Let me just move this thing a little bit more. His new Camaro form and his uh, robot form. And it comes with Sam Wilwick. Um He transforms 40 steps from robot to Camaro. Um, his iconic movie scene is the Pyramid Desert Battle. And right here, his little info says... Bumblebee takes on both Constructicon, Rampage, and Ravage to protect Sam Wiwiki. So, he he fights on Rampage in the film Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen and and Rampage and Ravage. Although Ravage has not been released yet for a Studio Series figure, I really hope he does get released so that so that it, so that in case you want to make this moment for a stop motion, it could look more real. Now right here we can see a nice picture of Bumblebee with the Autobot logo right there and uh, his CGI form. So this makes me think, if they are making a regular ba uh, bo um, box art for Bumblebee, this is a uh, high chance what will sh appear like right here near the number 74. Or on the side of the box where it says 74 right here, a high chance that this picture right here will appear right here. High chance. But if not, they'll use another CGI form. Uh, oh, and one more thing. I did not compare Bumblebee to a leader class. Now, for this, we're using leader class Jetfire, which is whoa, way bigger than Bumblebee. Way bigger. We can see that, that Bumblebee, like at least two Bumblebees and a half of a Bumblebee stacked on top of each other would at least make the size of Jetfire. 
So, oh, wrong figure. So now, let's transform Bumblebee. So, if you have Studio Series number 49 or 74, follow along with me of how to transform him. So you put his accessories to the side for now. So I recommend that you do do this. You you flip his legs like that so that it could be easier to, to transform. And after that, flip his these part of his legs where his knee starts like that. Okay, so you unfold this part, the the back part, back window, then you you stick his foot out and make sure it go, goes all the way inside like that. And make sure these little flaps right here um, are sticking out so that when you push it in like this, it can connect like that. After that, do this. And that, there. He is. He transforms the same way as Studio Series number forty nine Bumblebee. So if you did not see, uh, because I did not put in the video before, um, how to transform him. Here you can see how to transform him, um, uh, forty nine and seventy four. Okay. So now after that, you flip these part, which are like the knee pads. Flip them like that. Then you you fold them inside. You flip. You flip them like that and fold them inside. Same pattern for both both legs. And there, you have the back part finished. Okay. So what I recommend doing is put putting his arms like this, like that, so that make sure that they're they're all the way up, like he's on a roller coaster or something. That that they're like that. Other than that, take this engine part down. And put this part where his belly is, um, fold it down. This little part, you fold it down like that. See? You fold it down. Okay, so now you disconnect these two headlight parts from, from his chest. Slowly, like that, so you won't break it. Make sure that it looks like this. Make sure that it looks like this right now. After that, pull this back a little bit. Then make sure that the doors, look, do this. You get this little spike part, put it near the door like that. And like that. Okay, so now you, you, you got the doors done. Now you're almost done with um, both figures to transform. And now we can, we are almost done. So you push his arms down like this, so that you can continue to transform him. You do the same thing to the, the, the second arm. Make sure that they're all the way back like that. Make sure that the body, the bottom part looks like this, so that it can be easy to transform. Now, I recommend that you put his arms like this so that it could be easier to transform him and stuff. And just fold his his um his ar his wings back like that. And then there. Connect this part. First you um connect that part, you see right there? Like I I'm sorry you didn't see I don't I don't know if you saw, but you put it like this, then like that. like this then you push in the wheels the wheel part of the the front part of his car like that there okay so now as I told you to put the make sure that the arms up um, make sure to have them looking like this and after that push them down like that do the same to that arm Make sure this little part goes down like that. And then now, um, close close his door slowly. So that, and there's these this little tab right here on his door. 
this little tab goes into this little slot on his arm. So you carefully push it in. Like that. And there, you have Studio Series number 74, Deluxe Class Movie with Sam. Okay, in his car form. Now, uh, now that, he, that his car form is, whoa, it's moving by itself. Um, now his car form is complete. To do a stop motion, if you want to have Sam running, you could open one of the doors like this and make it look like Sam is running toward the door and go inside, you know? Can make it look like that. But I really hope you did enjoy how to um, put him in car, car form. And about his weapon accessory, there's two little tabs at the end of it. Hold on. There's two little tabs at the end of it. That, and there's two little slots right here that you insert for both figures. You insert them right here. Like that. So, there. Overall, what I think about this figure, it, it's actually really cool, similar to number 49. The only difference is that the, the, the mold of the car right here is way different from how, to, how he is in his, in his um, what's it called, in his, or his first form, which, was, which did not have the, this hood or more blackness at the bottom. And, and that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you his car form right now. Now here's um, Studio Series number 49, Bumblebee, and now we can see the complete difference between both figures of how, how they look like. Uh, we can compare them like this. This is number 74, and here is 49. We can see that there is a big difference between both figures um, from the front and the sides, not that much. But in a but the mold for the the front part of the car is a total difference from the the first part of the first um figure that got released. But overall, he is just like a repaint of number forty nine, but with with um some some better um some better um mods on his the front part of the car so that he could look like he was so that this figure could look like he's from the the Revenge of the Fallen movie. Overall, we can see that this figure is so f so far a little bit better than this figure, but um, this figure does show the Chevrolet logo, while this one does not, which is kind of disappointing. Like it is there, but you can have you have to pay you have to look very closely. But it's all in black. That's what kind of messed it up right there. Well, this one had like a gold Chevrolet logo. Now the back, the both weapon accessories, they look the same and everything. Um, but I really do recommend that you pick up this figure at your at your Target. I'm not so sure if they sell them at Walmart, but I really do recommend that you do pick it up at Target. Now we should we shall um start to transform him back into a robot. So first you take up his wheels like that. Now if you want to make a stop motion for Transformers Dark of the Moon, I recommend this figure is more accurate for a stop motion and stuff more than the first Bumblebee figure. I recommend that you use this figure instead because it is a more more of a darker shade of yellow ish and orange. So I recommend that you use this figure instead of instead of the previous figure. So as we transform him, we're gonna do the process the same way we did. We like we're gonna reverse the process of how we transformed him. You take off his weapon accessory. Yeah. Fold this in. Fold and then you separate his two legs like that. You do these and these. And then you're almost done. So then you separate his legs like that. Then you fold in this part, the back part right here, like that, and then his legs, make sure that to push them in like that when you're on transforming him because because here's one problem that I had. Uh, make sure that it's pushed all the way in like that. Then fold. Okay, and then you do the same process to the other other leg, so that it can so that um, they can both be the same. And you heard that click right now? Okay, that click what was actually right here. So you just fold it. You just push it in there. Click 
You heard it. That means it's connected. That means it's sturdy. The figure is is um, um good. So now after that, um, um, like we did before, we flip his over his whole waist and then flip over his legs like we did before. Make sure his knee pads, um, make sure that they're folded like that, and make sure that the um sharp part of the knee pad, the poke part, is facing up. Okay, so put you push his this part of the engine down like that. Now his arms. Now, now for before you do his arms, you gotta fix the the wings and the wheel the top wheel part. You, you fix them up like this. Then push that down like that. And there's this little little hook thing tab right here. This little thing. Okay, you push this in like that, and there. And the back is finished. Now, I recommend that the box does come with the figure looking like the wings like like this. But I recommend that you fold them like that so that he can look more more like how he does in the film. Now, you, you push up his arms so that you can, um, so that he's fully transformed. And there. You have finished Studio Series number 40, I mean, not 49, um, Studio Series number 74, Deluxe Class Bumblebee with Sam. <clears throat> now about his weapon accessory. Uh, you can attach on both arms, you can attach it right here, like that, and, or on the other side. I'm using Studio Series number 49 weapon accessory for his other arm, right here. And you can attach it, but it's gonna look kind of wrong, you know. And then he has two weapon accessories, you know. But he only comes with one. Now you get his Sam with Wiki, um, a little little friend, um, little figure right here, and then you can make it look like um Sam is running from something. I like 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 you can make it look like he's running from um, rampage and ravage, and uh, you can get his backdrop. You can get the you could get the backdrop and um, what's it called? You create that iconic movie moment where 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 Sam is um um fight, fighting ravage. You can put him in his. Oh wait, let me move the camera up a bit. You can put him in his backdrop. You can put him in his backdrop like that, so that so that you can create this iconic movie moment. Now, thank you for watching. Wait, please subscribe. Leave a nice comment. I will see you at our next Transformers TV series video. I'll give you a hint of what it's gonna be. the The Transformer will start with a with a S. Now, thank you for watching, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video. And, oh, and one more thing, that, um, um, hit that notifications button so that you can know when my new video is posted and stuff. Alright, and I really do hope you enjoyed those new videos where I didn't talk at all, and that I just did, like, a little slideshow presentation thingy. I really hope you enjoyed those videos about, like, who the dreads are and all that stuff. What Transformers turned into KSI, all the figures, number 1 to 74, including the 86, you know, all those videos. Now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a nice comment. I will see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video. Goodbye.